What's up guys, my name is Pablo Play. Welcome to another episode of Toronto Blue Jays All Sim Franchise. Our postseason run was as short as it can be. We lost our one game playoffs to Detroit. It was a really high scoring game, 9 to 14. Uh, if you missed it, you can see it in the previous episode. And now we can begin our off season. Well, we kind of have to sim postseason first, but it's basically the same thing. I don't want. We will see who will who won. Race won over the Nationals. So okay, Nationals in World Series sounds good to me. Race, I don't know. It's. It sounds a little bit random. So now we are about to begin the off season, and uh, I think that this video, because like I said, I uh, learned a lot about this game in the recent time. So I uh, I kind of have my own way of playing this game, and I think it might be useful for you guys, even if you don't want to. Sim, but for example, if you want to build a successful team, uh, you know. Maybe you're a fi fan of some team, like I'm the New York Mets fan, and you want to build a team and then to play with it, actually play, you kind of need to go a couple of years ahead and you need to do a certain things to build a team effectively and to get a really good roster. And it it takes some time, usually around maybe five years, and you need to do all the right things. And in this video I want to explain you guys how you do it and how I do it and maybe it will be useful because I wasn't able to find a lot of information about that even on YouTube not many people do that uh, the way I suppose it should be done because most of the people they just uh, play through one season and they try to get a successful season by you know playing good and it's nice but um, I kind of want to to have a good team and then play with it to build this team because well this is the most fun of franchise mode building your team drafting making trades signing contracts and all that stuff and this is exactly what we will be doing in this video and it basically the same thing every year of course of course uh, things change because of the circumstances but uh, still it's the same principle and let's see I want to show you guys how I do it okay we begin the off season and the first thing that pops out every time is that the the your, your coaching staff if somebody needs a uh, replacement and this year we have farm director so we need to sign a new one and yes this is the info that we have five days and that qualifying offer is 9.2 million i will try to explain all of that as good as i can to you guys okay you retired players let's see we have uh, Diego Rivera and Sao, David Sao, I think they are uh, our minor league uh, assets, I don't remember them in our major league team. I will show you guys the retirements. I don't really look at them really carefully because, well, the game is about the new players, not about the old players. Veterans are not really that important in this game. Yeah, Jiro retired, Kuroda, Suzuki, yeah, those, maybe the first year retirements, they are kind of set up in the game because of the announcements at least some of them okay Indians or Royals by the way we still have Ari Dickey uh, he haven't retired okay Mets no, I don't think I don't see any big names except for the players that everybody knew that they will retire well, Latroy Hawkins I love him he he's a nice pitcher okay Bobby Abreu yeah 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 this is Always, I hate this dramatic message, so you will close and you will never see it again. Why you need to do it like that? Why you can't store this information? It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, you will never see. It's your last chance. Fine. I'll live without it. Okay. And now, uh, I always start with the coaching staff. Well, I don't really like my coach. I try to find... Uh, coaches that all have pluses. This pitching coach is actually pretty awful. Can I fire him? Uh, yeah, you know what? I wanna, I wanna fire him. Yeah, yeah, I want to fire him because he looks awful. As well as this third base coach. He always, he also. Well, I will keep him because I don't think that he's that important. But I don't like it. So let's find some good pitching coach pitching you see this what th this is a great pitching coach 
and I always try to add a little bit more like wine 1.5 1.6 to their yearly salary and usually it works yeah you can see that he's really interested in this offer and he probably will accept it uh, now let's do the same for the farm director let's see base and boss contact yeah I like nice contact so maybe this guy I also will offer him more sometimes they refuse your offer because they got uh, not uh, offer for the same for different role not the same role maybe somebody will offer him first uh, baseman uh, first base coach for like 1 million he will accept it because he wants to be first uh, first base coach and not and not be farm director this in this uh, aspect game is pretty realistic i really like it so yeah we made those offers and now we need to see uh, our free agents and this is blue, blue Jays unsigned players and what I usually do I will show it to you guys uh, in later off seasons I will probably skip it but uh, this time I will show it to you guys those this is a long list especially in the first year and we you can see a lot of those players and what I do is I usually sign all of them unless they want some money so he wants 61k a year it's not a problem I can just offer it to him I don't really look at the potential it's not that uh, big of a money and you kind of need depth in your roster so it's it's not really a big deal I just offer them money until I see some you know uh, bigger number okay yeah C potential it's he can still be pretty good so it's not that bad okay 61 and I do it pretty fast I don't see any problems with that okay uh, okay 61 Mario Flores maybe you will get something good out of these players or they can be your trading assets or they can be uh, I don't know they can grow actually so it's yeah I think the team water camper yeah he is a good uh, prospect so he wants 77 yeah okay the m once one of the most important things is MLB service because I think when it gets to three full years he can be eligible for arbit uh, arbitration so uh, if he, he don't want to sign with you, you need to offer him arbitration or he will become a free agent. And when he gets six full years of service, he can uh, sign with whoever he wants. And only if you offer him enough money, uh, and if he refuses this amount of money, you will get a draft pick out of that. This is also very important, we probably will see. Uh, but before clock really starts ticking on the player before he really gets to uh, MLB you kind of have time so it's not really that important and you don't really have to pay him uh, uh, anything even if he's an A potential until he grows you just can can have him and another great uh, A prospect I don't really look very carefully at my undeveloped players they only start to matter when they get a nice overall when I started playing this game I was checking their uh, potential thinking about oh maybe I should sign him oh you see this guy Cole Gillespie he wants five uh, half a million 58 D potential no thank you I don't want I don't want to pay you any money so I just skip him 71 60 oh yeah we got two millions out of all this Donnie Dennison okay I can sign you Con contract re renewable it's this is the very important uh, stat this is I think this is the players that uh, get some MLB service but they are not eligible for arbitration or anything else and them you you can offer them a deal for example yeah you see this is the message I can offer him a deal he wants five uh, half a million I will not give it to him but if we will uh, not be able to 
come to any agreement, I can just renew his contract, offer him maybe 80% of his current salary. How much he earns now? Oh, he does not have any salary. Mm. So, okay. I don't think that he is anything good, so maybe I will renew his contract. I will not offer him a deal, that's for sure. Antonio Rodriguez, yeah, that's nice. And he's Chief Frank Hernandez. Okay, Sean Nolan, 61, C potential. I don't think that I want to sign him. I will just renew his deal. Rob Rasmussen, he wants, yeah, he also wants a deal. No, thank you. Barry Peacock, 66, yeah, that's nice. Neil Wagner, five, no, 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 no. Those players that really want some, some real money, you need to pay attention to. You don't need to, no, no, no. He is also not the... Yeah, those cheap players. Now we start to get to it. Dan Johnson, he wants an arbitration. Five, no, thank you. Uh, 500, no. So you just resign without even looking at it. Everybody who is cheap. Aaron Sanchez, yeah, he's actually a pretty decent player. Uh... No, he wants too much money. I will just renew his contract. Steven Tollison. No, I don't want. And Ghost, no, also. I don't want to. Cesar Reyes. Beautiful. B potential. And he just wants some small money. That's perfect. Okay. Ooh. No, this one. I don't want to sign. Josh Tholey, I don't think that he is any good and he wants a lot of money. Uh, how good of a season? Yeah, he had a nice season. We need to, we will come back to him later. Dustin McGowan, no thank you. I will not offer him anything. Cesar Cruz, yeah, he is nice. Todd Redmond wants some real money and he's not worth it. Nolan Raymond We will think about it. Oh, I'm sorry Nolan Raymond, let's continue Alfonso Almanza Nice Low campus. I probably will renew him J.A. Hap 72 overall No, he's not really a priority uh, He wants like a million a year. No, I don't want to sign him Danny Valencia, 30 years old, no, I don't see any potential. After 30, players start to decline, so the only reason uh, you use players over 30 is when you really... Oh, Marcus Stroman, he has some... Yeah, probably will renew him. Uh, Colby Rasmus, I don't know. C potential, how much he... Whoa, no, thank you. No, I will just let him go. It's not a problem to let somebody go. You don't really need to... Everybody you can get. Juan Francisco, yeah, maybe I want to get him. I don't know. Yeah, I think I will get him. I will offer him like... Like this amount. No, he's not really interested. I can offer him arbitration later. Brad Cecil, he will want... Yeah, yeah we can sign him too. Just and not for the five years, for like three years mm, yeah, for a mil, yeah, he probably will accept it Iron Loop, another reliever, I will just renew him uh, Steve Delabar, he is nice he wants, oh, one, one, okay for three years for this much, yeah, he will be happy with that Drew Hutchinson Mm, he made... Oh yeah, he's our starter. Yeah, we kind of need him. And he wants some reasonable money. Maybe like 500. Yeah, he might be good, so we might need to sign him. Brett Laurie. He wants 2.4. What kind of a... Um, what's happening? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Brett Laurie. What kind of season he had? 2.30... <coughs> Not really too impressive. 
maybe I should offer him arbitration. Yeah, his current salary, previous salary. Yeah, I will give you a mil. If you want anything more, probably I will not give it to you. Unless arbitration decides that uh, you worth it. So when you offer somebody an arbitration, it's basically you are taking a one year long time out. And uh, you, when arbitrator will decide who is more correct about amount of salary, you or the player, you will sign a uh, one year deal on this condition. So you still can continue negotiating, but uh, if you will not be able to come to a real contract, you will have to accept what arbitration will decide. And this is actually, it's, it just means that I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I don't know what to do with Brett Lowry. Do I want to sign him long term? Do I see him as my third baseman? Uh, going forward or I'm still in doubts or I want to trade him or something like that and this is a pretty fair system in my opinion yeah Adam Lind I don't know how much he wants he wants 4.7 million no he's not really fitting in our plans so I will not be uh, no I I don't want to give him 9 millions for one well I actually can give it to him and he will accept it. Yeah, you know what? I will give it. I have enough of budget. I don't really plan on uh, getting any expensive free agents. So I can really give him this money. If somebody will offer him more, then I will get my draft pick. If not, I will have him for another year. Well, I don't really lose anything because I have some cap space to waste. Brandon Morrow, uh, he's 30 years old. He's probably the same story. How much money does he want? He wants 6.2 for five years No. I will do the same thing. I will offer him a qualifying offer. Melky Cabrera, probably the same thing. How much he wants? He wants 8.5, so I will give him this money and then we will see. And Casey Jensen, I don't know. He wants 10 million, probably he is correct about his worth. So also I will be tendering qualifying offer in case if uh, somebody will accept it. So I made an offer to everybody I wanted to and now we can just go through the off season and you can see that there is the stars the, these are the dates this is the uh, yeah we need to tender qualifying offer so it doesn't really it means uh, anything only for the players who are uh, you know those good players who you need to qualify and we qualified everybody that we want okay uh, a lot of info about people that I tend not to look oh you see he is a manager so he is not really considering uh, our farm director job this is exactly what I was talking about he was too good to be our farm, farm director so let's try and find another pitching coach Mm, we lose on velocity here. Mm, this is kind of a. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's offer this guy a deal, like one point five. It should be fine for him and for the farm director. And if somebody with the pluses. Yeah, this guy will stop us from hitting home runs. Uh, yeah, this 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 one I like. I will offer him. We, we have money to spend, so it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, I made him an offer. And let's see, what's the new? This is the same date. Yeah, this is the, the same date, so we can really sim through it. Oh, Anthony, okay. Farm director is he? Yeah, he's still considering our offer, but pitching coach accepted another one. Let's see. Yeah, this guy is. Uh, he looks nice. So 1.5. Sometimes it's hard to make them. Yeah, Rick Edmondson. We have a farm director. Oh man. We just can't get ourselves a pitching coach. 
they all get another offer and they all accept it velocity yeah you know what this guy looks like a legit pitching coach why just not offer him more money like this yeah this this will be fine yeah let's see him through the off season yeah and now we have we have all the pitching staff uh, put together oh yeah Melky Cabrera declined so yeah that's nice I don't want to negotiate with him because he's 30 years old he will not be there when we will uh, be entering our prime so we might as well get a draft pick out of it so yeah it's a nice decision Adam Lind is still with us he accepted qualifying offer uh, yes the second thing in the off season after this one is uh, the day you need to set your 40 man roster because you need to decide who will be on your 40 man roster in order to to protect those players from being picked away for example we have Jack Carney he is 21 he is 72 overall he is really a top prospect top 50 you can see his badge and we need to add him to 40 man roster because if we will not he will probably be taken away from us okay water camper I don't think that he's really that of that much of a threat but yeah we can add him on uh, Rodriguez we can add him too okay those guys Justin Turner yeah probably also we need to pick him and well this guy as well we have some space looks like so what I do is I look for our good prospects by the way this is the nice well I don't think he will he, he will get picked up uh, you kind of need to look at somebody at least you know high uh, sixes overall Cesar Cruz yeah we need to add him because he looks like somebody somebody might might pick him up those 49 overalls the catch in a uh, rule 5 draft where everybody is picking out prospects from other teams that are not on the 40 man roster is that if you get somebody uh, you need to play him on your major league squad so if uh, a guy is 49 overall he probably nobody will pick him up okay yeah this is the last day next date is arbitration we need to offer arbitration to everybody who is uh, eligible for example Drew Hutchinson well yeah let's offer him arbitration yeah we can we can be generous with that 1 million yeah that's that's kind of fine Delabar I don't know if I want to offer him arbitration really well I think I should well we yeah we have enough yeah 1 million why not we can trade those guys and we will do that as soon as the next year so yeah this is uh, the point of offering arbitration okay you can get 2 million Juan Francisco yeah those all all of those guys they can be valuable assets to our team so I mean not uh, trading assets not to our team Danny Valencia so I will offer arbitration to everybody you kinda need to see if you can afford it if you are in the early stages of your rebuilding you can really just offer arbitration to everybody because it's a one-year deal and you are not really you know on a tight budget just all yeah we can offer him maybe we will trade him make an offer okay uh, okay Dan Johnson no I don't want to offer him arbitration he can he can go did we forgot anybody no looks like not only Dan Johnson and he's 35 years old and he is useless okay so yeah we offered all the arbitration let's move on to the next date Drew Hutchinson accepted okay nice to know they need to have contract standard do we need to offer him some deal I think we do so let's offer like yeah so here we are I skipped a little bit ahead and yeah as it turns out everybody uh, who is renewable you need to offer him them something well, at least something or you will lose any rights to them so you need to offer them a deal 
and even if they don't like it they kind of have to think about it so yeah keep that in mind and now we can move forward yeah let's sim to the next date okay bread mills yeah rule 5 draft and this is something that we are really interested in we don't really have too high of a pick because we had a nice season yeah here we are and yeah you see this is the potential of the players and you kinda need to click on it to see an overall okay is anybody in high 60s at least some A prospect no looks like you need to keep in mind that if you pick up somebody from here you uh, need to play him the whole year on your majors so at least he should be on the bench Michael Lowell yeah he, I had him uh, once he is a nice catcher and he grows really good and Sam Manning so we kinda need to look at okay let's see this is a little bit annoying you know to look at all of them and it's annoying that you can see their overall uh, on the main screen uh, Luis Cordero B potential yeah maybe now let's see what kind of depth do we have on on all the positions so for example starting pitcher starting pitcher who do we have we have those three guys you see so I don't want to start Brad Mills well and Eric Dickey so it means that we kinda need you know low 60s starter is pretty good for us I mean low 70s or high 60s so let's look at somebody in the starting pitching John Grant 62 okay let's let's Rodney Ladner yeah he is also looking good but probably not good enough we need somebody who is at least uh, high 60s Ian Baldwin 63 53 Michael Lowell Sam Manning yeah this Sam Manning guy I think I like him yeah I think he can be a part of our starting rotation so yeah let's pick him up he's already have a good stamina nice looks like nice curveball yeah he has a lot of pitches yeah let's pick him up yeah we will draft him so this is kind of a system which is really makes sense in real life that you can't really have too much of a prospects uh, in your minor league system without playing them when somebody else wants want to play them uh, let's look at some something else let's look uh, what about relievers yeah we kinda have a reliever core but if there is some good reliever we might uh, pick him up oh yeah if if Lowell is still available I would love to get him actually no looks like he's gone Patrick Clark 61 yeah we can pick him up really Or this Patrick Clark, how old is he? He's 23 and 61, and John Grant is 62 and 25. Yeah, Patrick Clark, I like him more. Yeah, let's pick him up. We might as well stack with the prospects. We have to play them, but uh, it's kind of worth it. Hmm. Closing. Yeah. Catcher. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some nice catcher. But it, it has to be somebody, you know, in, in the 60s. Like this guy. Yeah, let's look. You, It kind of irritates me. Yeah, this is the best one, but he's 25 years old and he is too old already. Okay, Vladimir Tejada. No, he's too low. If you are in the rebuilding, uh, this Rule 5 draft is really something that you should be doing. Because this is where you can find yeah this guy Roberto Cedeno 
Yeah, he can be something like our backup catcher or something. If we will trade away Josh Tholey. Yeah. Roberto Cedinho. Yeah, we can pick him up. Okay. If you are not afraid of being really bad, you you might as well just pick up everything. Fernando Gonzalez, no. John Grant, no, he's 25. It's a little bit too old. Catcher, first baseman, let's see. We have Encarnacion, I would love to trade him. Daniel White. Brian Chu, no, okay. Here we have our prospects. Third base. No, looks like... No, none of those guys are good. Here we are good. Center fielder. Hey, you know what, I think we are good. No, you see nobody is really good enough. And you can't really have too many players because you have to play all of them. Uh, in your major league squad, so it's 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 uh, can be complicated uh, at times. Okay, let's go to the next state. Yeah, Marcus Stroman accepted. That's fine. Luke Empas accepted. Now I I realize that maybe I offered them a little bit too much. Aaron Sanchez accepted. No, and now this is the arbitration hearing. So here is Cecil. They decided that we were right about his salary and he will be getting 1.9 million a year. Okay. Uh, Nolan Raymond, they agree with, with us. He will be getting 1 million. And Steve Delabar, they sided with Delabar. So he will be, well, it's basically the same thing. We offered him something like 800. So it's not really that big of a difference. Okay, Brad Laurie. And they agreed with us, he did not have any anything good, and he will be getting one million a year. Okay, and yeah, Francisco, also it's reasonable, Josh Tholey, they agree with us, and Danny Valencia, okay. And now this is the day, the last day of the off season is the day when you need to renew uh, everybody who's left. And you see, this is all the guys that you need to renew. Let's... Yeah, we have a, a budget, so when you renew a contract, it's a one-year deal. You can put any number here, so it doesn't really matter. In real life, it matters because, well, it shows uh, the kind of... How do you treat a player and stuff like that. Todd Redmond, I don't even want to renew him. How much he was making? Yeah, I, I don't want him. This guy, Chad Jenkins. Yeah, well, let's let's renew. It's it's not a big deal. Next year, when we will be deeper in our rebuilding, uh, then we will be looking. Uh, well, this guy I definitely don't want to renew. Okay. This one, okay. I will renew. It's you have to deal with so many players in this game that you can't really be too specific about that. This guy no, I don't want to renew him. See, he's 33 years old, he will be just it's just wasting money. So let's move on and yes, now we come to the spring training. And I guess we will not be able to go further. Well, let's just look at the scouts. And let's just pick up the scouts. When you are in the rebuilding, you don't need to uh, really... You need to hire the best scouts you can. Okay. You need two good discovery scouts. Yeah, this one is... Okay. And you need kind of two good efficiency scouts. Yeah, not too, not too many good scouts. Oh yeah, yeah, this one is. Well, we. 
Yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, let's pick him up. And another one. Yeah, somebody who is good about position players. International Central West. Somebody with the good efficiency and discovery, or at least defi efficiency. Okay. It's hard to explain how we. Yeah, this this guy is, is nice. Yeah, now we have four scouts, and we start using them as soon as the regular season will start. Training. I will not show it to you guys, but I will put the training on. Uh, for all the hitters, I put it on the contact ratings, and on uh, all the pitchers, I put it on you know hit per nine innings, home runs per nine innings, and that. I think it's the best way to to deal with this. Okay, I will show you our roster really quickly, position by position. Yeah, we will sort by overall. You can see Mark Burley is a candidate for a trade. We will trade him. Most definitely, he is still good. He's 86 overall, and we can get a bunch of good prospects for him. And other than that, we have some good prospects, and we will try to to play them. Relief pitchers, yeah, those experienced guys, we also need to trade. We we will be doing a lot of training in the in the next video. Uh, Patrick Clark, yeah, this is the guy that we acquired, and he is good. Looks like Casey Jensen. Uh, he signed with another team and it means that we will get our compensational pick and this is a good good news okay so yeah we have Patrick Clark uh, as our closer by the way in this game you can edit players you can change uh, their position from uh, closer to reliever and stuff and I tend to do that because I think it's realistic to really change the position of a closing pitcher to a relief pitcher or vice versa it's kind of not uh, you know something that is set it's uh, the coaching coach's decision so it's my decision and i don't see any problems with that okay closing pitcher is fine uh, navarro i think we will try to trade him and yeah we have roberto sedenio we will need to have him as our backup catcher and as our main catcher i don't know we will have nobody good there <laughs> first baseman Encarnacion, I really want to trade. I really want to trade everybody. Uh, Cesar Cruz probably will be on our roster. Adam Lind will be our starter. Or we will trade him, we will see. Second baseman, Jack Carney. Yeah, we will try to play him. Or maybe Luke Ampas will be playing. I don't know. Uh, Isturis, if we can trade him, we will. We will, but yeah, it's, it's not really that important. Brett Laurie, yeah, we need to play him. He is... Yeah, he probably will be the part of our future. We will soon need to resign him for some big money. Now he's making like 1 million, but if he uh, will progress, we will resign him for a good amount of money and it's okay because you need to have some of the players resigned. Valencia, I don't see him. Maybe we will trade him. We will see shortstops. Jose Reyes, as much as I like him, I don't think that uh, he is young enough and maybe he needs to be traded too. Bob Armstrong, okay, we don't really have anybody, we probably need some outfield prospects, maybe in exchange for some of the guys that we will trade away. <clears throat> Water Camper, yeah, he's too young to play MLB, so yeah, we really need our outfield, looks pretty deep, empty, I mean. Batista, yeah, also I want to trade him because he will start to decline pretty soon and maybe get somebody instead of him to play in the outfield. And yeah, and that's it. So um, we will go through, um, we'll make a trade and go through spring training in the next video and maybe we will start simulating a uh, regular season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it was pretty long, but well, it's an off season and I hope that I explain myself uh, on what I do and why I do that. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.